My name is Fortune Igabor and this is The Mantra Revealed. Like what's your mantra, what's your central? Do you wanna just link bag yellow or push the style, yo, whip it to petrol? How many times did they push you around one, push bare weight and lose them pencil arms on your Pino rental funds? Why do I wanna dance with the devil? This whole life one lives expensive, pensive man, like what's your central? Do you wanna just link bag yellow or push the style, yo, whip it to petrol? How many times did they push you around one, push bare weight and lose them pencil arms on your Pino rental funds? Why do I wanna dance with the devil? This whole life one lives expensive, pensive man, gonna go on the fence. When I was writing, the, I wrote the song at the, around the start of the year, so only like the 2nd of January if I remember correctly and it was a stage where a lot of close friends that I had around me started inflicting themselves and stuff that wasn't really beneficial to them. 2020 was a year where I started seeing a lot of my friends and my peers say that they want to get really really big and start lifting weights the same way me and my friend do of course and um, how many times do they want to push you around and push bare weight and lose them pencil arms that's the idea of everybody having skinny arms and having the idea that they want to get huge but nobody knows the work rate until they have to partake in it and that's when it kind of catches them off guard and it's like um the devil land came from a song by gets called listen in which he said it's hard not to dance with the devil when you're living in a city of gods to a point where, where everybody's trying to live their life so good you can't help but indulge yourself in some bad stuff do you know what i mean because for whatever reason it is whether it's drugs whether it's alcohol or whatever whatever it is like it's just when you indulge yourself in that that's me asking what's the benefit of that and why are you doing it sorry my mantra is obviously taking music as seriously as i can and going as far as I can with it as possible so it's the likes of one side of it is probably music only but then there's the likes of after music I want to break out into acting directing and then essentially starting my own label like this like Hotbox Entertainment and it's really just a question that I wanted to put at the start of the song just to ask the person listening like what are you actually doing while you're living this life you know what I mean because everybody's got a purpose it just depends on whether they know what it is or what it isn't you know what I mean so where do you start you've been down but you got back up one bang to the heart that he tore you apart run man off they run you off sure I mean the song is really for the listener but at the same time it's a really selfish record that I made because it's like it's essentially me talking to me because Going back to the start of 2019, I literally was sitting in my room like, where am I going to go in terms of music? Because there was so much that happened at the start of 2019 and the end of 2018 that had me completely confused as to what I'm going to do with myself mentally, spiritually, physically, not even in terms of music. So I was asking myself, where do you start? You've been down, but you've got back up one bang to the iron really tore you off part. There was only one thing that happened at the start of the year that completely threw me off track with what I was doing. It was, I think out of the respect of the people involved, I could leave out names, but it was really just about people who had been there for a long time, but kind of just had to leave. And I was in a mental state where my presence wasn't really a benefit to the people around me. And it started making a lot of people upset and I needed to take that time away to myself to kind of figure out where I was going to do and what was going on with me. Because I didn't know if I don't know, nobody else can really know because nobody sits in my head but me. I know I never want to get too comfy Like a hyena always gotta stay hungry I know my IG's come more lovely But my age made see face won't boss me <laughs> There, see, I'm somebody Who you either love or you hate And I noticed that a lot of people Are starting to take a strong disliking towards me But I'm not really doing anything Because I made sure all I really do is mind my business So there are A lot of my supporters would be a bit younger than me So it'd be like the little kids Who are like really really excited to see me But then when my age made see me more than 16, 17, 18 They kind of look at me as if they'd want to hit me or something like that, do you know what I mean? And it's just something that I started observing near the end of last year and the start of this year because I kind of noticed that I kind of be a look as if I think so much highly of myself but I don't think anything of myself that I haven't produced. This life's not meant for the weak-minded, ill-hearted, easy targets. I'm checking shots, I'm ticking boxes, stand my ground and mark. Look, it's the mind of a lion, no lion. I've seen tough timings, no lion. I felt like dying, no lion, but arts and rhyming. Sometimes I feel as if I need that snap back to reality that the life that I'm trying to set up for myself is probably one of the most difficult things to work for and one of the most difficult things to come by. My mom especially is somebody who keeps reminding me life is not the most fun time you're gonna have essentially and there's gonna be so many bumps along the road where you're literally thinking that God is completely against you when it's never really the case. I kind of told myself with that line, life's not for the people who aren't willing to work for what they want and it gets to a stage where it's survival of the fittest, the battle of the realist 
and if you want it as bad as you say you do you'll be able to plow through all the hurdles and obstacles that are in your way and then nobody gonna put in your graft work it's just you and the vision and then nobody gonna put in your hours bro it's you your life and decision and one time for the man who got back up back up got slap up slap up for the dream and one time for the man who'd rack up rack up just stack up stack up baby look one day i was having a conversation with one of my friends talking about just how heavy you can lift he was like i don't understand how you get so big how you do this how you do that and i said like it's as simple as you literally just need to eat right and put in the work like there's no Nobody that can put in the work for you and you can just take the result like it's really just as simple as that see i've been doing this music thing since maybe 2015 i've been writing since i was like 10 years old and i'm touching 17 like next week and it's gotten to a stage where people will put in less than half the work i put in and i kind of have to ask myself how are these people putting in way less work than me and getting an even bigger result and I just kind of got mean to myself about it. I stopped being really lilient on my heart and my mind. And I sat and I literally said out loud the audacity of me just sitting comfy with where I am when my family have invested into this graft, my friends have invested into this graft. And it's a really, really big disrespect to the people who believe in you. If anybody could take anything that I say from this video, I just need you to take two minutes and think about minimum three people who believe in you and who genuinely think you're gonna succeed in wherever you wanna go. If you're slacking on the work you need to put in to get to where they see you being, it's a high disrespect to their appreciation for you and their belief in you. Because I honestly feeling the way I am now, I'd be annoyed if I had the belief in somebody doing amazing and they didn't do anything with it. Because that's a waste of time and that's taking my appreciation and belief for granted. You gotta grab that goal by the throat then sling it to the ball or hit it with a headshot Just line up the aim one pattern the fame gotta put that work in the head Man, man, I'm an older guy to my oldest Bet in for man, I got folded I'm usually the youngest everywhere I go With the people that I usually spend time with They're usually 17 going 18, 18 going 19 And I'm only turning 17 soon enough anyway My mentality and the things that I've been through Have kind of put me in a situation where I've got more information Than said olders that I have around me I'd have really 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 quote unquote mature people in terms of age asking me on how they should go about their life and i can confidently say hand on heart that i am partially the reason as to why people's mentalities have been better why people's graphs have been more consistent take for example i'm 16 there'd be a 19 year old asking me for an advice asking me for advice and he takes it and he applies it and he realizes how smart i am in specific situations of life and that's where I'm an older guy to my old those bare info man I got folders. I've been through so much that sometimes I even forget how young I actually am. Because I hold a lot of, a lot of knowledge in my head. If you wanna be the greatest pawn soldiers, I'll be carrying all the way on your big boy cutting the order, cause this order, man I cut in corners, me and my bro stay pushing forward, talking links on cash and pull. Just trying to stay positive and healthy minded really, cause when I say that we've been through so much to a point where we forget our age, that's me and him. Like anything I've been through, he's been there with me. Like there wasn't really nobody else that would come all the way up here with me other than him and like obviously not related by blood but this guy is more family than blood that i actually have in my family and to the point where no matter what we really go through like we always persevere and always stick to the task at hand okay. 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 myself and jamie cho this is my right hand man my juice my dog my slam my squeeze and that's family right there Different daughters, new performers. Hell, I'm doing up news reporter. Hell, I'm doing up tape recorder. Not enough man with bricks and mortar. Like central. Do you wanna just link back out or push this side your whip with the petrol? Hell, I'm doing up news reporter. Everybody's always talking about what's going on. Hell, I'm doing up tape recorder. They're just repeating themselves, saying it over and over again. I'm gonna do this. 2020, I'm gonna do that. 2020 is my year. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. But not enough man are doing bricks and mortar. Bricks and mortar is essentially building stuff up and stacking and stacking and stacking your bricks and mortar until you have your building and your foundation. Everybody's talking, but nobody's grafting and putting in the work. Nobody's building their buildings, but they're talking about the plan. A plan ain't really anything but an idea without action. How many times did they push you around one push bare weight and lose the pencil arms on your pino rental funds? What I wanna dance with the devil? This whole life one lives expensive pensive man. Like go your central. Do you wanna just link bare gal or push the style your whip with the petrol? How many times did they push you around one push bare weight and lose the pencil arms on your pino rental funds? What I wanna dance with the devil? This whole life one lives expensive pensive man's gonna be going defensive. I can really say anything other than what's already been said. 
Um, I've been seeing a lot of people blow and shine essentially and a lot of people that I'm really happy to see it happen to and um, it's blessed to see your homies, fellow artists, the people that you really look up to do these amazing things and it got to a stage where I was really really down and I was asking myself I've been doing this for nearly four or five years when am I gonna blow the same way they are? One thing I've learned is just patience is probably the most important part of the process because if your goals are so bizarre to the point where you can't tell close-minded people and small-minded people you need to have patience and realize that with a big goal comes a lot of patience. If you look at anybody the likes of Steve Jobs, Dr. Dre, Jimmy Iveen, whoever, their success came far from overnight. And that's something I'm gonna have to constantly and constantly remind myself. It's such a crazy and insane process and it really, really tests your willpower. Before you can get to the top and get to where you wanna be and what your idea of success is, whatever you believe in God, fate, is going to put you through it all before you can finally sit back in your chair kick your feet up and say i've made it and i'm only realizing that now but at this stage after this song you'll hear it in my lyrics and in the tone of my voice it'll get to a point where you'll be completely ready for what is coming your way thanks for watching hotbox entertainment check out my spotify my discography will be there the mantra music video will be out soon and make sure that you stream the mantra on spotify and on my streaming platforms Gonna grab that gold by the throat and sling it to the ball, not hit it with a headshot. Just line up the M1, pattern the fame, gotta put that work in the head. Man, man, I'm an older guy to my oldest. Bet in for man, I got folders. If you wanna be the greatest pawn soldiers, I think I'll reorder. Cause I'm your big boy cutting the order, cause disorder. Man, I cut in corners, me and my bro stay pushing forward, talking links on cash and porter.